In this video, I will be showing you how to solve equations and inequalities that give you no solution or all real numbers. So let's begin. So we first, we solve it like normal. So you want to get all of the variables on the left side. So this negative seven X can stay over here, but this negative seven X needs to come over here, it becomes a positive seven X. And then getting all the regular numbers, the constants on the right side, this positive two moves over, becomes negative two. And this positive five stays over here. So negative seven plus seven is zero. We don't have any more x's and negative two plus five is three. So we have this funny looking statement that says zero equals to three, which is not true because zero is not equal to three. So because it is not true, our answer is ns for no solution. For this example, 3m needs to come over, stay over here and this positive 3m comes over here, becomes negative 3m. And then getting the constants on the right side, this negative one needs to move, becomes positive one. And then this negative one over here can just stay. So we get 3m minus 3m, which is zero. 1 minus 1, which is also 0. So 0 equal to 0, which is a true statement, and it is always true. It doesn't matter what m is equal to. Actually, m is gone because 3m minus 3m is 0. So how you can answer this is um, you can say all real numbers, or you can say infinitely many solutions. Both of them mean the same thing. For this example, let's get all the y's on the left side. So this 5y can stay. This 3y, because it's positive and moves over, becomes negative 3y. And then for the constants, this negative 2y needs to move over, becomes positive 2. And copy down this minus 2. So we have all the y's on the left side and all the regular numbers on the right side. 5 minus 3 is 2y. 2 minus 2 is 0. Here, we do have a number to divide. So divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get y equal to 0. So I need you to be careful with this. This is the answer. The answer is y is equal to 0. Think back to the first example. First example, we did not even have an answer. So that's no solution because that time we have two numbers that are not even equal. So Zero is an answer. Zero is not no solution. Now let's move on to inequalities. But we handle them the same way too. So this 4p, stay over here. This 4p needs to move. So positive 4p comes over, becomes negative 4p. And then for the constants, this negative 7 moves over, becomes positive 7. And then copy down this negative 7 over here. So 4p minus 4p is 0, 7 minus 7 is 0, copy down the inequality. So this is saying 0 is greater than or equal to 0. Well, we know 0 is not greater than 0, but 0 is equal to 0, so this is always true. So we can say that this is infinitely many solutions. And for this example, the 2n stays over here, bring this 2n, the positive 2n becomes negative 2n. And then for the constants, this negative 5 needs to move, becomes positive 5. And then bring down this negative 5. 2n minus 2n is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. This symbol, copy it down. It says 0 is less than 0, which is not true. If it says 0 is less than or equal to 0, we then that means it is true because zero is equal to zero. But here, zero less than zero, that is not true. So we say no solution. For this example, this negative three X stays over here. This negative three X need to move to the left side. So negative comes over, becomes positive three X. Now for the regular numbers, this five needs to move. So positive five becomes negative five. And this negative 2 stays the same. 
So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. And copy down the inequality symbol. And so what we have is 0 is greater than or equal to negative 7, which is always true because 0 is greater than negative 7. So this is infinitely many solutions.